Let us understand how to run OS commands using Spark SQL. If you are using Spark SQL CLI, you just have to use exclamation mark at the beginning and you should be able to run any OS level command. In this case, the Spark SQL CLI is already launched. We can say Ctrl L to clear the screen and then you, we can use exclamation mark ls hyphen ltr. It will always end with semicolon and you can hit enter and you should be able to see the list of files from local file system. This is a valid Linux command which is passed here which is nothing but a OS command. So to use OS command you just have to include that OS command between exclamation mark and semicolon in Spark CLI. You can also run any HDFS related commands to access files, directories, etc. For example to access files uh, we use HDFS DFS hyphen ls and we have to give the path let's say public retail db. This is the command which we typically use from uh, Linux terminal. However, we are under Spark SQL CLI. To run this uh, using Spark SQL CLI, we just have to use exclamation mark at the beginning and semicolon at the end. And it will run this HDFS related command, Linux command, and then it will actually get the output and display on the screen. If you want to use Jupyter Hub as part of our labs, then this approach might not work using uh, the magic command. Let's try that ls hyphen ltr and run. You see it is not working. So the way you should run is this approach. This is a Scala based approach. You have to import sys.process. underscore and then you can include the OS command in double quotes like this and you can have exclamation mark at the beginning or at the end. Now it will run the ls command on public retail db with hdfs dfs and you should be able to see the output. If you want to use typical Linux ls command that also you can actually say import sys.process. underscore. You can have exclamation mark at the beginning also and then you can say ls hyphen ltr like this and you should be able to run. Okay, I am wrong. Exclamation mark should be at the end only. It should not be at the beginning. Or I think uh, if I have a new line character it might work. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't like exclamation mark at the beginning. It has to be at the end only. Now it, it will give us the output of ls hyphen ltr command. So these are the files I have in my home directory. That's why it is showing these many. So this is how you should be able to run the OS level commands using Spark SQL. So this is what the example for Spark SQL. But if you want to prepare Spark SQL using Jupyter Hub environment, out of the box there is no way to run OS level commands directly with percentage percentage SQL magic command. You have to use Scala based approach. You have to import sys.process.underscore and then you have to enclose the command which you want to run under double quotes and you have to have exclamation mark at the end. If it is Spark SQL, you just have to enclose the valid OS command between exclamation mark and semicolon and you should be able to hit enter and you should be able to see the output of that OS command.